Do you think I need to go and paint that yellow BR, bro? <laughs> Yeah, that cat was nice with his Every time he rhymed, it was like he had advice to give Even though he had his whole life to live He got biz at all the open mics he did Yeah, 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 yeah I used to peep him at the New York and every weekend One night he started freaking These rhymes couldn't believe him It was like he wasn't even breathing His performance left the crowd pleased for good reason In his neighborhood, trees and bruises All he knew besides battling crews By threes and twos and breezing through Cause he knew some shit that MCs didn't Pattern flip Word playing, straight spitting, freestyle or written. His style was different, far from the norm. No bullshit. Want to get on, but had no direction, no connection. But this one cat was checking for him. An A and R man that saw him rocking, got him the call so he could call him and talk about his new career. Big rap star, and that was music to his ears. Here, kid, take my card, give me a ring. I got big plans for us, big plans. This kid. The Aussie Bird. Yes, yes. Arms House to your mom's house, episode 92. We are here. Ross, some peeps just turned up. Already forgetting about seeing on the jumper. Just completely laid back, Amber. <laughs> I'm completely chilling. laid back, bro. Are they got tins in that bag? Just chilling, wholesome pillin. What, are you going to rob them for their paint, bro? Yeah, mate. Like, uh, nah, not at all. What's going on, people? Get me some paint, though, bro. Get me that. Sit me that paint. We're at a spot down. What's it? Boston Manor Park. This is what it's come to. Sitting on the fucking floor. This is plan B. We went yeah. to a sick location with the whole plan of the episode to be in that location. And we got there. Not only was it old Bill outside blocking the fuck, like in the middle of the A4. Yeah. With blue lights flashing. There was a fucking security guard as well. Fucking security guard, man. I've got a little port. Here's a little video of the security guard wanker. Ooh. I should have just chatted to him. I should have chatted to him. <laughs> but yeah, so we couldn't do it. Lime yeah. bike have made a fortune. That's <laughs> true. And we're now sitting out here. This is, I mean, I, I think a few music videos have been filmed down here. I know some fashion shoots have happened down here. Whose manner is this? This is a uh, Cry FDC. Cry. Uh, does. Does is around this neck of the woods, I think. Old school does. Uh, who else is from around here now? Couple of local beer bed, beer bed, beer bed. There's a scoop piece there. Um, yo, so anyway, this is plan B. We're here anyyway. Fuck it. I think it's a plan Z spot. on I, the floor. <laughs> I think it looks cool as shit, though, man. You I know? haven't seen how it looks, to be fair. I think it looks cool as shit. It's just I wish, you know, we were more comfortable. That's all. And there's ants everywhere as well. Motherfucker. Should, we should do some more of that Australian birds break dancing. <laughs> oh, yeah, in Australia. <laughs> Ray gun. Yeah. Killing it. It's old news now, though, man. You know, the Olympics is done now, but Ray Gun, fuck it now. You know, I had a little message back and forth with um, Mo2 on Instagram. Really? Hold on. Because, you know, Mo2 is quite involved in... Uh, man of many words. He does all the flyers for the B-Boy Championships and... Uh, what are they called? Anyway, the B-Boy Championships and shit, all he does all the flyers, all the German, you know, B-Boy shit. They're really sick flyers. I'll post some of them here. They're ill. You know, the mode two is just ill. Yeah. Um, so he's quite deep, knowledgeable about the, the ongoings of the, the whole involvement of breakdancing in the Olympics. And he said that there's, there was some... He said, like, the, 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 what are they called? The... The International Olympics Committee, yeah. the IOC, yeah? They, at I first... That's exactly what they called. Well yeah. done. So they were, like, bringing in all the big heads from the B-Boys, you know, Crazy Legs and DJ Renegade and, and Hooch and a couple of other heads who, who've been dealing in breakdancing battles for years and years, decades and decades. Uh, they got them in first to kind of bring authenticity to it, but then apparently it got to a point where they were like, all right, we don't need you anymore, and then they took it from there which pissed a couple of people off. This was behind the scenes. And 
apparently the judging system was a bit stupid. I mean, to be honest, for me, I thought it was going to be a bit weird. How are they going to judge it? Yeah. Crazy Leg said that they, they didn't re- reach out to him at all. Uh, okay, maybe. Okay, well, okay, maybe not Crazy Leg. But there was a couple live just recently. Like, oh, is it? Four days ago, saying no one reached out to me, and he'd be talking about that Australian girl. Yeah, <laughs> there's some there's some conspiracy. Apparently, her husband was part. There was no like breaking committee in New, in in Australia. She's and a husband, teacher or something. Yeah, she? and she's only been breaking for like two, three years. She comes from a place of classical dance or something. And I don't know, man. I think she took the place of a lot of much better B-girls from Australia. Because they got a sick scene out there, you know? So I, I don't see how she could be the best one they could produce. And also, I want to give a shout out. Actually, you know what? Before I forget, I got to give a shout out to... I gotta look her up. We're just totally missing the point. But uh Brilliant shout out this. We're just we're just looking at you on the list, yeah. I wanna shout out Ami Yuasa. Ami Yuasa. <laughs> um yeah. So anyway, I, to be honest, I'm not gonna pretend like I'm super knowledgeable about, you know, breakdancing and shit. But I do love it though. I think it's one of the purest forms of hip hop, man. You know? The dance. This is El. Yes. Curious forms of music, dancing, it's like the human reaction to it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? i tell you who I bumped into the other day was Denise Van Outen. Do you remember her from the Big Breakfast and all yeah. that stuff? I was down in Paddington, uh, down by Little Venice. She walked past, I was like, hey, see, is that Denise? And she was like, yeah, I was like, to give her a fist bump. <laughs> hey, see, Denise. <laughs> Hello, Gil. Hello, Gil. Oh, I was thinking of an idea. Mm. Oh, but maybe I shouldn't say it on the pod. Because then it won't be an idea. Here's what I'm not. Okay, then. There was a stupid announcement. <laughs> that was great. Yeah. <laughs> fucking hell, we were all ra- fucking riled up to do this other spot, man. It went to shit. Ah, you know what? There is it's one thing. to shit. I was recommending it to you, but I want to recommend it to the viewers in case they haven't seen it yet because it's old it's a few years old now four years old what is it it's, it's something t- i can watch tonight a tv show called the boys the boys yeah uh, it's the boys it's the boys i mean i'm late to the party like i said it came out about four years ago lucky voice um mate if you've seen it and you like it leave a comment let people know because man i've been binge watching it for the past like couple of months I watched all four seasons. The fifth season is dropping, I think, next year. And it's the last season. Oh, it's that good, yeah? Bro. What's it on if you don't stay in the television? I, well, it's, uh, it's on uh, Param- no, Prime, Amazon Prime, I think, or Paramount. I can't remember. One of those two. Okay. Yeah. Um, you can look that up easily. But, mate, it's so ill, man. It's like, it's like superheroes. It's like the Avengers, yeah? You know, Superman, Wonder Woman, The Flash, and all that stuff. But they've done, like, fake versions of it. So Superman is called Homelander, and The Flash is called A-Train. And instead of there's Aquaman, what was his name? Uh, that's the kind of shit. The Deep. Yeah. Oh, I see. It's like, I've watched that kind of shit. But check this out, yeah? What makes this program so cool? Because I'm, like, you know, I'm not a massive comic book fan or, super, you know superhero movies and shit i think i've like tired of those films now yeah but this show it's basically like an allegory for like corporate america and taking the piss out like superhero movies because the superheroes in this series they're the bad guys they come across like the good guys they work for a corporation called vort corporation which is basically disney yeah and all these superheroes, like, they, they don't save no one. It's all fucking put on. It's all a show. And, they, and everyone loves them because they're like, you know, they got these superpowers. But it, behind closed doors, they're like sex pests. They're fucking like murderers. They're fucking like evil people, man. And so the, the series follows this gang of vigilantes who basically kill superheroes. And they're not superheroes. They're yeah, normal yeah. people. Vigilantes. Yeah. But every, every superhero, for every strength they have, they have a weakness. They have a weak spot. So they have kryptonite. To f- so yeah, like kryptonite, kryptonite to Superman. So they got to find their weakness, and then they kill the superhero. It's just, and it's proper violent, and like you know, obviously sweary. There's lots of swearing and shit. The performances are crazy. 
there's one starlight the, the woman who plays starlight she's a bit annoying but other than that everyone else is great homelander the guy who plays superman like for a bad guy because if you imagine superman in reality yeah if there was an actual superman everyone would be shitting themselves from him <laughs> he could literally just do that and kill you you know what i mean like the guy's like he's a superman like it's just and homelander the actor who plays him i can't remember his name but incredible man yeah. and it just i've been just like i said i've been binge watching that for the past couple of months man like uh loving it can't wait for the fifth series i think it's based on a graphic novel but i recommend it but watch it the boys the boys on either paramount or amazon prime or Netflix. <laughs> one of those things boy, yeah. it, it could be all sorts man you're going out tonight you're going to jazz cafe yeah Gonna go see Marcus Valle, a Brazilian musician, man. Brazil. Incredible. I've seen him before. Well, I've seen him before back in Brazil. <laughs> no, I saw him at Jazz Cafe like like years ago, maybe seven years ago. Uh, yeah, incredible, like Bossa Nova, kind of, you know, smooth, jazzy, Brazilian sounds. But he's been sampled by Jay-Z, by Kanye West, by Jay Dilla, fucking mm -hmm. everyone sampled him. Um, He's in the boys. There's actually a Brazilian hip hop group called Marcelo de Deutsch. Yeah, Marcelo de Deutsch. You started, that, didn't you? <laughs> started. I mean, they begged me to be in it, but I was like, Porra, cara, you el no falo, Portuguese, <laughs> porra. <laughs> nah, I was, I'm, I'm not, but they're a good hip hop group, actually. I did see them in Brazil. They've sampled Marcus Valley. Marcus Valley is just a legendary Brazilian musician. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Gonna go with my man Mutlag. And Mutlag was supposed to be here. Another thing, Mutlag's let us down. He's flaked. Zonk's let us Zonk down. Zonk was supposed to be he let us down. He's steady still up for it, but just too hungover, today. mate. Too hungover. So we're a bit all over the place, really. <laughs> said to me, I've knocked all that on the head. I said, you're gonna, when you do it, mine, you're going to resume the balcony. He said, I've knocked that on the head. Uh, I said, all yeah. right, oh, cool. I'm, I'll give you a water. He's like, yeah, that's more like it. That's more like it. And then the next day, <laughs> oh, bruv, I'm so hungover, bruv. I'm so hungover, <laughs> I can't do it. Jeez. But you see, we give you a podcast no matter what. You know what I mean? We make it happen every Wednesday. Um, so, you know what I mean? You know, one maybe we can do another like half, half, like half here. Yeah, we could do that. Half on the, on the Tuesday. I mean, we got, we got another couple of songs to listen to. We got some graph critique and we got uh, some listeners' questions as well, man. Should we do a listener question? Let's do a listener's question. All right. Listen, listen. Yeah, easy, boys. How you doing, yeah? Like, obviously, you got a question in it, and if you want to answer. So, like, now that you're famous, yeah, I'm just curious, like, how would the Arms House boys deal with fame? Like, say, Arms House became a global phenomenon, and, like, you guys can't even leave the house without being recognized. How do you think you'd handle fame? What would you do to protect your anonymity? And uh, how do you think, would you enjoy it or not? Would that suit your lifestyle? Safe, yeah? Have a good one. You get that? I got it. So cheers I mean, for the question. It would be pretty easy. I would just sit in my fat yard yeah. doing uh, meetings from home. You know what would be the worst thing? Do you know what I'm saying? Is not being rich but being super famous and recognized by everybody. Yeah, so you have to go out of your house because it's shit. <laughs> Working Still in some Still living in like, some little shit studio. Because that happens to people, you know, especially the guys who go viral and shit online. Yeah. They're, like, they're not saying anything special. They're like a one-hit wonder. Yeah, They'll yeah, be yeah. world famous for 15 minutes. You don't uh, see me? <laughs> that geezer. But yeah, how would you deal with it then? Let's say Arms House blew up and it was, we're like Joe Rogan's podcast. Yeah, or whatever. I'm just saying, what's the biggest podcast? Yeah, yeah I don't mind the, um, the way it appears that Joe Rogan does his. Like, he's just got his mates and they bring in the guy, Jamie, who does the production, has always just been there. Yeah. It doesn't seem like there's like a massive crew. There probably is bare crew. Oh, he... Yeah. Bare crew. And, but he moved, didn't it? But so I wouldn't, what I would do is sit up a board of directors and then I would just, that would be it. I'd be going in like once, uh, once a week, twice a week. Yeah. Hearing all the board of directors saying, okay, sweet, 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 sweet. Oh, I'm off. Yeah, but that's not dealing with fame. The question was about dealing with fame. 
So now every time you leave your house, so you just yeah, stay if, out. Ivan's house is a world, he said worldwide <laughs> phenomenon. Yeah. It's raking in billions of yeah, dollars uh, every half a year. So you just wouldn't it's leave worldwide. your mansion. Worldwide. You'd leave. You'd, no, I'd just be like, all right, now I'm going to, now I'm going to Venezuela. I just, you know, <laughs> get a taxi. No one can see me. Drives in my basement, drives, leave, takes, get in the car, drives out the basement. Bosh. Flies to a private jet. I mean, the things I hear, the things I hear from celebrities that like, uh, now, you know what we'd be doing? We'd be worrying, look, we'd be worrying and dining like people like Michael Jackson. Yeah, hey, Michael, you've got to come. Well, he's pod. dead, but yeah. You've got to come with the pod. Yeah, but I mean, people that big. Imagine getting Michael Jackson on the old town. <laughs> Exhuming him for like getting an exorcism and just to get, yo, that would be crazy. <laughs> Go, so are you a nonce or not? Yeah. Let's fucking make. <laughs> Be like, no, man, you're silly, man. No way, man. I didn't do that. <laughs> Nonce. We move on. I don't know, man. I like, like I was saying, like what I hear celebrities complain about is just people being rude, and you can't be rude back to them because everyone's got a phone in your face, and if you come up, like do something dickish to someone, yeah, you can't be Sam's house. Yeah, but that's the thing. Yeah. I think I would. That's the yeah. thing. And I wouldn't give a you're shit like, oh, where anyone you're thinks. You're a fucking <laughs> bars anyway, you fucking cunt. <laughs> like, oh my God, did you hear that? You know, yeah, take a photo of me doing it as well, you bitch. But to, but to be brutally honest, no one gets that famous unless they want to be that famous. That's the thing, man. And I don't want to, I don't want to ever be that famous. I don't think any good will come out of it, to be honest. The first thing that comes to my head when I'm thinking of rich and famous here, that this has always been the case is pulling up to my house and it's got like a gravel driveway <laughs> and, and you can hear the tyres well, no it's just the sound of them going oh, yeah, yeah. as it comes in for me that's like mad posh if you've got that you're like oh we've got this do you know what I mean our pebbly driveway yeah people pull in people pull out you know what I mean you can hear them pulling in I don't know why I associate that with being minted I just wouldn't want like because when you're that famous as well, like people just write mad shit about you. You just the amount of bullshit that people just make up about you and stuff. You know, I don't know how. Oh, I'd I, love it. Nah, man. I'll be added to it. I'll be doing real <laughs> videos of my face, and they're like, "Is this fake, fake or not? Is it AI or not?" You're like, <laughs> These people that can't say what's a card. If you could have any guest on, any guest on the planet, alive though, not someone who's dead. Oh. Who would you any get? Any guest on the planet. Any. It'd be hard to like not go with someone like Scene, but then I'm already thinking of like Messi, Michael Jordan. You know what I mean, no, so Scene be... is possible. Like that's a possible guess that I reckon we could get. Well, I think that'd be a great. I've all, I've, that would I've, be I've tried messaging him a couple of times about the arms house. Me too. Never got a response. Well, Bodhi knows him. We could reach out to Bodhi to put in a word for us. I'm just saying, like, we could do it. It's we doable. Could mention we're in MOP. Yeah, exactly. You're right. I don't think, I think Scene, he's not much of a hip hop dude. Nah. I, I mean, he plainly knows about it, obviously, but I think he's more of a metal, rock and roll, Sabbath. metal type thing. Uh, but now, nah, if I, oh man, I'm trying to think. Anybody on the planet who's alive? Who's alive? Uh, I'd love, I tell you who I would rate to have is Nas. Nas. Imagine me, you, and Nas sat around a table. He's been on Drink Champs, but he doesn't really do many interviews, you know? And him and Nori are, like, close. They've known each other for years, He'd so... He'd never do an English one, would he? Well, never. I reckon he would, but it would be some poncy, high-end fucking, like, Radio 1 yeah, thing. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Nas would be fucking brilliant. That would be heavy. I mean, the ultimate one would be Prodigy, but obviously uh, he is... He's dead as a dodo, mate. <laughs> yeah, he's and, um, All the people I'm thinking of are dead as well, like Kobe Bryant, Leonardo da Vinci, mm. people like that. I mean... Peak their braids. That would be... So great. That would be nuts. Socrates. Yeah. Yeah, that question, that geese has sent a few questions in. That question was a bit dry. Yeah. Come on, people, send us questions, man. They don't have to just be about graph. Oh, yeah. I got a message from some of the SV lot, you know, from the whole Banksy thing and all South that stuff. Banders, weird. South Banders. 
Apparently, apparently the elders of SV um, quote and who else? A couple other heads. K-W-O-T. Yeah. yeah and a couple other heads. He reached out and he said, yo, give a little shout out to a fallen soldier. Yeah. He wrote Kush, K-U-S-H. He also wrote Rum, R-U-M. And he sent in some photos. I'll put them up here. I'm going to show you now. The Wino, W-I-N-O. It's uh, a nice read. Mad Trains. Um, look, check it. It's a nice read, Wino. Uh, go that way, yeah? So look, look at, through some of them pictures there. Yeah, you see the Wino? That's quote. Yeah, quote there. That's quote and Wino, yeah. So I just wanted to give an arms house salute to them, man. And a special salute to Wino R.I.P. Yeah, I like the rum straight across the face of the pack. Yes. Floating in the middle is a dope door. one. Over the door. Yeah. And those are the old dickies, right? The older ones. That one is, yeah. We least that. Like mid-2000s. Yeah, exactly that. 2010 yeah. and one of them. The crush is nice, man. Yeah, man. That reminds me of a proper old graph, that Kush there. Yeah. Yo, I like that. There's a bit of a glare in the photo, right? Yeah, but it's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Them lot have done some bits, man. Got to give them props. Well, and who's passed away? Why not? Why not? And he wrote rum and he wrote Kush. Like, he had several tags. Like people tend to do when they're... You know, yo, doing illegal business. <laughs> Rest in peace, man. Yeah, those rums are nice. They're right across the thing like that. So many lost people are in. What DWS crew? Yama. Mrs. has got a fucking job. Yeah, you mentioned it last time. Where hey, is like, it? Doing what? She's a waitress, space. Ah, okay, cool. So. Uh, in a restaurant, in a cafe? Yeah, like what? in a place, like a chain. Okay. There's like this mad training all online. You've got to fill out all these oh, applications, do different courses and tests, all of it in English. Damn. So every night she's like, mm, <laughs> can you help me with this? I'm like, fuck. I know the ins and outs of this restaurant. I know all of the musts, <laughs> all, the, all the stuff you have to do. Do they everywhere. give free sauce, though? That's they give 50% up. discount. Oh, is it? So when I'm reading that bit, this is last night. I'm like, yeah. She's like, oh, can we do this? Uh, it's so stressful for me. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. Ready. I said, you know you get 50% discount. She's like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But there's one in, she works in like Kensington. It's oh, mad man. nice. Yeah. And uh, this one, is, uh, there's, a, there's loads of them. There's one in Chiswick. And I said, yo, let's go to that one now. Bosh, went down there, bosh. 50% just smashed. Is it? Yeah, smash some mad like frozen cocktails and shit and all this mad posh shit all right don't, don't name the place but what type of cuisine is it italian is it or no, just like, like a chicken spot they call it mediterranean turkish oh okay but it's like um open kebabs big like mixed grill of, of meats okay. it's fucking banging sick uh, 50 percent my man's on man the bill came to 80 quid i was like yo you imagine <laughs> If we just didn't have the 50%. What, are you quit with the 50%? The, yeah, but One of just alone. you and your girl? Yeah. Oh, she had like shit. five, she had five fucking cocktails. Damn. Because they're always telling her, you got you to try the menu, you got to know the menu. Uh, she's course. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But she's only been there like three, four times. Aha. Uh -huh. So this time, I said, let's go there. And you can blag it as a mystery shopper. See if the waitress does this when you uh, walk in. See, because it's all like proper street. Yeah, I know what they're like. These chain things, these it's franchises. Mad. And it's still the same geezer owns it. All right. And uh, you've got to cook this like this. You've got to have the, the machine tilted like this when you're warming the milk, 30 degrees there, all this oh. shit. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so we went there and I said, you can see if it's like, you know, they, if these people, the people in Chiswick, they're doing that. And they all do it. Yeah, they? yeah, yeah, I bet. And we mentioned it. They don't believe her because she can like, barely speak English. Hey, <laughs> I am working in the, in a kitty talk. <laughs> and the woman's like, sorry, boo. Hey, I work here. I did that, dude. 
So the woman was like, let me see, because they have bad applications. Let me see your schedule. Let me see this. And Andrea's going to show you know, all this stuff. She's like, okay, boom, yeah. Let me send this guy. Oh, but man. it's mad, the stuff she's got to do. Yeah. But also, she's gone from, she's out of the house. <laughs> Sick. This weekend, I've just been chilling on my chase. Because, as well, she's looking after the fucking cat. And I said oh, to yeah. her, you need to be more Arabic with this cat. You need to tell uh, Alba this fucking cat. I'm going to have a rant about this fucking cat. It's a beautiful... I fucking hate this fuck. The rules about this fucking cat. <laughs> Alba's fucked off for three weeks. See. To like Philippines and all like oh, island wow. hopping, taking her daughter nice. and her geezer and the boss gone. Yeah. So hello. My cat's so expensive. My cat's so nice. It is a nice cat. Oh my god! <laughs> you must let it. You must let it in. <laughs> you must let it out. Fuck that! And it's happened a lot. One time I said it was like a couple of months ago. Yeah. Not well, a couple of months ago, like a year, year and a half ago, doing this exact job for her while Andrea was in Spain. Al- Alba fucked off on holiday, so muggins were stuck doing it here. <laughs> You've got to wake up in the morning. Give it fresh food, fresh water. You've done the water the night before as well. Fresh water, fresh food, yeah? Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? And then you go open the window, and as soon as you... This cat, you know cats don't give a fuck about anybody, bruv. They're fucking cunts. And you've got all these rules about, are you going to do anything? Like, the cat fucking hates you. Yeah. And it hates you, and you, and you. Fuck, it doesn't give a shit about it. It's got this fucking thing on its neck. You've got the application... To see yeah. where the fucking cat is. Oh, right. It's, it's got one of them ones. So it's, and you know she's got it as well on holiday in the uh. Philippines. So this cat, <laughs> you got to let it out in the morning, yeah? Then yeah. you have to try and get it back in before you go to work. Uh-huh. So you like, wake up at like seven, you're not having your breakfast, you're having a coffee. I'm gonna, I don't eat, I just have a coffee and shit. Have a shower, get changed. You've, you've already let the cat out. Then you're like dangling these keys out the window for like 20 minutes. Nella. Because <laughs> apparently it comes to the game. never comes to the keys, yeah. So you have to go outside, like wrestling it from under cars and shit. So anyway, after a while, I said, "Fuck this bitch! I'm gonna teach this cat what fucking living is, bro." Yeah. I dashed it outside, shut the door, I shut the window. So I'm going to work. I'm not waiting every day. I'm late, go to work, and I'm trying to tell Andrea this now because it's happening now. This cat sitting in right now, but mm. she's gone for three weeks. Yeah. She's getting bare, bare arguments about it. I'm like, fuck the cat. She's going back to let it in in the evening. So last night we got smashed. We had to go back to fucking Albers just to try and get around again. No, no, it's like fucking half twelve of the night. To bring a fucking cat. That's annoying. The cat is always <coughs> chilling in someone's house. Mm. Always. Yeah. It's around the corner in this. We go around the corner in this thing. And so I'm like, let's in this guy's house again. But this time it's like half twelve. The last time we fucking got him out of his house, he's helping us in the garden and oh, shit. shit. You gotta fuck this cat up. So now, I'll tell you what you should do. There's these things called dreamies. It's like catnip or something. Like yeah, yeah. cats are addicted to it. My cat, if I just give her the, the bag a shake. We're trying like it. shaking the food. Yeah. Where we're rich, oh, is it? Oh, and I was saying, how long are you gonna let your this cat live your life? Like run your life completely. <laughs> so she's been at work from eight o'clock this morning. Till four and got a straight there. Yeah. And she stayed there. I said, I'm not coming, I got football tomorrow. Bond that fucking cat. I'm chilling in my yard. On my days, bro. Chilling. Yesterday she's a what? I'm chilling. <laughs> and I was just starting to think, yo, for the first time. Cause I've been supporting us for like since she came over with the visa. Yeah. December. Just two people bosh and the new yard of rare, rare, rare. It's been fucking nightmare. <laughs> and it's obviously been worth it. I've got no problems doing it. No, of course. And uh, and it's always me. She's just staying at home, cooking lunch, cleaning the house. I'm just going to work, coming back, going to work, coming back, going to work. Yeah. And now she's doing like evening shifts or like uh-huh. morning shifts. I'll be like, she's doing like, you know, I'm really That's what I was going to say. For the first time yesterday, it didn't happen uh, Friday, but Saturday, I was like, yeah, I used to have hobbies. <laughs> I used to play guitar. I used to spit bars like a motherfucker. I used to do all of these things. And now I'm like, oh, yeah, now I'm going to play guitar again and shit. No, yeah. But big up to Andrea. I want to say big up to my wife. Coming over here, sorting your fucking life out. 
with the help of the, of the best geese you've ever made in your life. Yeah. This woman came from the jungle. She had jobs in Spain where they don't pay you no contract. No, no, they pay you half in cash because they want to pay less employee tax. No, no, no. Mm. Come over here, got a job in one week with the CV that I wrote. The CV that I wrote, bro. <laughs> bosh like this, cover letter, bosh like this, put it out. One week, one job interview in Mayfair, and one job, job interview with these people, and she got a job. Bosh. No, I rate her, man. Yeah. In a different language. Finally. Best job she's ever had. Sick. Like in Spain, it's racist, the Latinos. Like, you know, Mexico, they're the cleaners. Or yeah. they, they cut your grass in America, the Mexicans. In Spain, like the, all the Latinas, they like just maybe run up their own restaurant, food restaurant, or they're just cleaners, or they're, and they're not taken like very seriously. You don't get a good contract, you get the worst pay ever, mm. there's no minimum weight. There's all like the cash in hand and shit. Yeah, and, and it's fucking like cunts. You know, if you don't do it, with some other Latino is going to do it. You know, You've got no off. workers' rights and shit. Yeah. None. Yeah. None. Especially if you don't have papers. Yeah. Like now she's got English fees. Oh. Yeah. English job paying PAYE. Evil. Fuck it out. She yeah. needs to give me a blouse for the rest <laughs> of my life. I put that out there now. Every night I go home, I just get a sloppy blouse for like three hours, and then you have to make the food immediately. That's it. <laughs> That's El Trato. Arms House for Women's Rights. <laughs> That's good. Except Andres. <laughs> Some dear geezer yeah. in California. You know, California is weird now. Yeah. Going to ask in Starbucks. Oh, what's your name? Oh, where you are? Yeah, you put the name on the cup and shit. It's like, uh, I'll get a whatever, latte. And, oh yeah, my wife will get a latte as well. Like, the wife isn't in the queue, she's sitting down, where are And apparently the, the girl's like, ah, yeah. He said, what? There's a latte for me, one for my wife. He said, I am. It's not my wife. No! So I get a letter, bro! Jesus The person Christ. working in the company. Yeah, yeah, she's not my wife. She's not your. She yeah. doesn't belong to you. And he's like, yo, what the fuck? No, that's mental. And what's she getting involved? Nah, she's crossing the line there. Pro- the California has gone mental. I know, I, know, I hear. Despite there just being people living in tents and shit like that. Yeah, it's yeah. still fucked. It is fucked. And they have a big fentanyl problem there. I know in San Francisco, it's like fucking no man's land. So Letting far. their youths go to school in like cat uniform because it identifies a cat. No, that's bullshit. That story turned out. No, to there's no litter trays was bullshit. Yeah. Litter trays. They had litter oh, trays okay. at the school. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was bullshit. That'd be so good. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be so good. That would be hilarious. But yeah, I mean, well, well, okay, they can wear whatever they want. That, that doesn't bother me so much, whatever, but... But could like a waitress now starting dictating people's language and shit. Like, all right, if he came up and dropped the N word or something, then fair enough, say something, yeah? yeah. But not my wife. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, it's just silly, man. But it's way past like the N bomb in California. Like, you can't assume someone's gender. Did you just assume yeah. a gender? Like, they actually say that with fucking hell. Yeah. Yeah, I did. It's code. I mean, yeah, I've seen. And then there's the other one. Oh man, I don't even know if I want to get into it. But yeah, I've seen loads of videos like that. But I try not to like, get carried away, man, because... I would love it. If that, I think Andrea would come and play. Like, yeah, I am his wife. <laughs> he is my husband. Like, 100%. Some yeah, of things course. are just utter bullshit. Yeah, and... Utter things, bullshit. There are, there's definitely a group of people who are just mad sensitive to all this stuff. And then, like, they, you know... They feel the need to fucking let everyone know how to speak and how to act and shit. When it's just like it's none of your business, bitch. Yet there is a lot of that happening. I see, and and but I don't know. I think I think it will level off at some yeah. point. Like you know, we had that. You know, even the. But um, all right. <laughs> well, I just I'm just hoping one thing. Just hoping one thing that we got that geezer's best by like this. <laughs> one of the greatest best. I've ever seen it. I've joked. He's definitely getting out to get a nosh. Yeah. There's no way past there. That's going for a nosh. Yeah, but going back, yeah, probably, maybe, but the- She looks really unhappy. Like, she got paid earlier. She's got to pop <laughs> all the way down here. She looked fuming. But bro, not fuming. It's like, bro, I've got to suck a dick again. Fuck, <laughs> say. I didn't get to him. There's no way to go, though. He's pretending he's pointing out fishies. He's going to whip out his little knob, look. Oh, here's a little fishy. Oh, little mackerel. Cheers. Cheers, it's Krahal's house, dear Bum's house, for the ladies. All right, let's do an Arabic word. 
and then we'll call it quid. So maybe we'll do a little bit more on Tuesday night or something. Yeah, Tuesday. Have a good pod. Yeah. Uh, we'll do the graph critique from home. The graph critique. From home. Yeah? Yeah. But right now, I don't know if I've done this word. I need but... to write it down. Yeah. It's achi. Have we done that word? Achi? No. All right. Achi. Achi. I guess it's... Well, in America, they go aki. You hear people go, yo, peace, aki. Yeah, yeah, yo, yeah, ak. yeah, yeah. Yo, ak. That's short for aki. Yeah. Which comes from the Arabic word achi, which I means brother. I think like in my akis. Yeah. I saw my, uh, my akis. Yeah, my ak. It was it like brav? It means brother. Achi. Literally means brother. Yeah, achi. So talal, 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 talal is my achi. And so is theme. Achi, achi. Yeah, a, I've, I've spelled it A C K I. So now I can say shukran achi. Yeah, shukran achi. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. So there's a new word, a word of the day. Shukran achi. Yeah, boy. Uh, I've got my tune. Oh, yeah. To play us out at the end. But you've got, are we doing a graphic critique or no? I mean, we can either do it now here or we do it Tuesday night. Yeah, let's do it Tuesday, baby. Oh, yeah. I've got so many photos of when we were in that fucking sensational location. Yeah. Now, we'll go there. We'll, we'll hopefully be able to do one. Uh, I don't know, you know. Yeah, it might. I really don't know, bruv. Unless we leave it for months. They go on a Sunday at like fucking 11 in the morning, 12, because in months it'll be dark by like four. Yeah, it's true. We'll work it out. We'll see, man. I want to do some bars over at MOP's New Jack City. New Jack City. Arms House bars. Let's do it, man. So, uh, yeah. All right, cool. Play the song and then we'll fade into the second part of... Oh, I send you those photos of me and Saul when we were nippers with our... Oh, yeah. That, was that you and Saul? I was working out who that was. Yeah. All right. Here's a picture of Saul from Chase the Status and Theme yeah, when they were little kids. I don't know if he's, if he's going to be around. No, nah, we're, we're putting it on there, man. There we go. Bro. All right, what was the song you wanted to play? Play it, man. The song is possibly one of the greatest songs that's ever been made. Oh, yeah? By, uh, it's by the Rolling Stones. We might get flagged on YouTube. So if it goes all quiet on YouTube, it's because we got flagged for the song. I reckon a Rolling Stones song, it probably will happen. Do you reckon? Yeah. But we'll give it a go. I think it's used everywhere. Oh, yeah. The song at the beginning, by the way, was called This Kid by We Be Foolish. I don't think I mentioned that. Love that tune. That's just for Ash, who puts the playlist together. All our music that we play on the podcast. We have a Spotify playlist, Arms House playlist. Big Ash. And we have a YouTube playlist of all the songs. Does it for free. Guess it kebab. Every Salute. second Friday of every third month. <laughs> yeah. We have a Patreon. All the links is below if you want to support the podcast. No, don't play it into the mic. Just play it. Because I'll, I'll play it's it. It's a good little intro. But yeah. when it makes sure the people get it. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll play it for real. But what else have we got? We've got... Leave a comment and a like and all that good stuff. Anyway, we'll be back in a second, man. Let's listen to some Rolling Stones.
That was Gimme Shelter by The Rolling Stones, released in 1969 when Maddie was 25. <laughs> Damn, son. Uh, yo, big up. We, we were on location. Now we are back home. That we, we didn't record enough. So I've been egging theme on. I go, yo, we got to do at least another 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. We do some graph critique. We listen to another tune right at the end. And look who we got. Well, not look. Here, who we've got in town. What's up, Mudlag? How are you? How are you? <laughs> How are you? How are you? Are you yes, Mudlag. Mudlag in the house. You're fine, yeah. fine. <laughs> You've become a legend of the pod now, Mudlag, man. Respect yeah. to you, brother. Respect. <laughs> Respect. Um, he still drinks his coffee black. <laughs> no milk. <laughs> <laughs> And he and he's still giving birth. He's still birthing children every week. He's got a new kid popping out <laughs> of yeah. his seventeen wives. Many wives, many <laughs> yeah, wives. Exactly. Yo, man. All right. You were talking something just now. You were saying now you've been seeing some cool shit. Like uh, I've been seeing hints of it. Okay, I haven't yeah. seen anything uh, standard. But uh, Teach has been out there getting busy, man. Up ladders. Yeah. Painting I think whole. He just cars. released something on the Instagram. Double Looks like deckers. whole cars with characters and ladders and shit. It's got to be like Germany or something like that. Maybe Denmark. He but, goes uh, out a lot, man. Them lot, the thing is, and again, this is not something they've told me. This is speculation. But a lot of them, trains because... In London no more. Do you know what and, I mean? So if they go abroad, do you know what I mean? I reckon they trains. very well could paint trains in London. It's just they've been nicked so many fucking times. It's pointless. You know what I mean? So they just go out there. Again, and speculation. I don't People. think Teach has ever been nicked. Again. In the UK. But Maybe. speculation, speculation. Speculate. Off, this I is think. all speculation. Now, he hasn't posted anything on his Instagram, just some like uh, partway shots, but that one with the skull, with the with the zzz, 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 coming out of the eyeballs. There's a, there's a blockbuster on there a few slides back. Yeah, yeah. He's you tell yeah. it's a blockbuster. He's oh. getting his outline on there nice. They must be working on some sort of pro- – I mean, who knows? Again, speculation, but maybe they're filming all this. They're going to release something soon. I mean, who knows, man? You know what I mean? So I know these lot, anyway, they don't like bragging about all their shit all the time, especially not online. A bit like Mudlag. (laughs) A bit like Mudlag, innit? Exactly. Have you heard anything from the grapevine? No, 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 Habib, no. <laughs> he hasn't heard nothing. Okay, that cool. means yes, but I not tell you. I not tell you. <laughs> Mum's the word. Mum's the word. All right, party people, let's get into some graph critique. It's a graffiti podcast called Arms House to your mum's house. All right, so I'm going to send over something to Mutlag and to... Ah, you know what? This is just to get the juices flowing, all right? So I'm going to send this to you, Senor Themos. Ignore all the bits around it. Just look at the photo. Yeah? And let me send it to Mutlag okay. as well. This is just to get... This is one I found online that I just wanted to talk about just because I think it looks... Hey, yo, Sean. <laughs> yo, Sean. This one's from Three Corners and Farringdon, late 80s. Damn, I fucking <clears throat> love it already. Since we gave PFB a shout-out on the BBC, you know what I mean? They've been, they've been messaging us saying, yo, big ups for that. Uh, shout out Don, shout out Acid, shout out Drax, shout out Lone. All the people who reached out to us really appreciated, man. And, and of course we had to. It wasn't like, you know. Rosa, uh, did you say Rosa? Rosa as well. Salute, Mr. Rosa. But this is a piece. R.I.P. Mint. Mint, R.I.P. Yeah. Good point, Mudlag. Yeah. Um, but this is a shun tag. This is just, it's got everything that I love about Graph, man. And f- yeah, especially yeah, exactly, from that era. Yeah. The, the shape of the letters, the thin bits, the thick bits, the ends of the letters, yeah. the way they, they come out like that, the 3D and then the round bits on the 3D, the colors, the way they go in, the schemes and the little shines. Oh, man. I love it getting, I love those old school letters when they got really fat at the bottom. Yes. You know what I mean? Bottom like, heavy. Oh, man. Man, love yeah. that. I, I love call that. this medieval graph. <laughs> medieval? Nah, <laughs> medieval? Yeah, okay, fair enough. Yeah, All right, let me send you the foundation, man. Foundational era. Fat reach right in the middle of it as well. Huge <laughs> reach when you look at it. It's like, oh, fuck it. Almost as if the bombing is just as important as the piece itself. Shit. Nah. All right, I'm sending you another one, man. That uh, is absolutely banging. That's a 20, 
20 out of 10 bit of grass. 20 out of 10. Did I just send that to Mutlag or to you, Andy? I, I got it. Remember. I got it. Ah, okay, shit. All right, let me send it to you, Mutlag. All right, this is... Um, can you Ooh. read it? Yeah, Mutlag just sent me a cheeky one as well. This one says Chasm. Oh, yes. C-A-Z-M, done in mostly green. All of it's green apart from the Z, which is in pink with some purple schemes. The greens in the C and the A and the M have actually got two different greens, maybe three. Yeah, at least two, three, yeah. Um, and it's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. But you see, we just looked at the shun. That's kind of fucked this up a bit. Because if we didn't see the shun, for this would be a nice piece. You know what I mean? Because this is fat and thin as well, but it's too thin and not fat enough where it need where well, I'm comparing it to that kind of stuff. But you know, the purple highlight background bits with the bubbles, he's got different colours of purple on there as well. He's done nice there. Yeah. And it's still got like even though like you said, it's completely different to the shun that we saw, which is an old school piece, but there's definite throwback styles yeah. in this chasm as it's, well. You it's can actual tell graph. This is actual graph. It's actual yeah. graph. This is my boy, Chasm. Uh, I've only met him once or twice. He's good friends with Hopeski VFL. Uh, he met him when he was up in Liverpool, but now Chasm lives in the West Coast, I think San Diego or uh, in LA somewhere. I don't know, but he's out there now. I think he painted this. You can see the water at the bottom. He painted it in some mad tunnel. He sent oh, me a little video. Shit. Oh, I'll post it here. Like they're down there painting these mad, like underwater tunnels, not tunnels, but like they're like for water, like runoff, water runoff or whatever. Like when they get floods out there, I don't know what they call yeah. them. I like the one, the, the white one time as well. It pings it off. That's big looking time. nice. This isn't, uh, I've seen Chasm do some crazy pieces. This one seems pretty simple for him. I was yeah. thinking that. I was thinking I've seen more crazy than this. Yeah, he's done some crazy shit. So I want him to send I like me some all more of stuff. it. The the bit I dislike the most is the C. Mm. The A, the Z, and the M. The M is for me is the best letter. Yeah. The C, I've seen him do better Cs. Yeah. The C, I don't know why. I it's got a bit of a, like a, a long much. jaw hanging out there. Yeah. You know what I mean? A Which is usually quite jaw. cool. It can be, yeah. yeah. Mudlag, thoughts on the chasm? Good, good, good. Good. Okay, he gets the I, nod. I trade. I trade for twenty goats. <laughs> twenty goats for the one chasm. Okay. Um, all right. Which one should we go to next? All right. Let's go to this guy. All right. I'm sending it now to Andy. There we go. Kabing, and I'll send it to Mutlag. Kabow. All right, I want to hear Mutlag describe it, but you've got to lean a little bit forward. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> what does it say? What's it on? What surface? What color? It looks like it's in one bedroom or hallway. It's above the heater. Yeah. Enzo. <laughs> it's called Enzo. Enzo. Like throw up it's, style. There we it's go. It's called Enzo. <laughs> It's like a one-liner. Yeah, there's not filled it in. It's a hollowed out dub. Yeah, Enzo, E-N-Z-O. How many goats would you trade for this uh, hollowed out dub? Or is it even goat. worth a goat? Maybe five. Oh, right. Okay. I wouldn't trade any goats. Maybe a hamster I'd trade for this one. <laughs> now, now, Enzo, big up Enzo. He 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 tunes into the podcast. Much love for sending this in, but man, you need to work on your letters, bruv, man. He's obviously a beginner by the looks of it. But I mean, it is it is more difficult to do that than it is just to throw up the letters normally. You know what I mean? Because you've got very no good lines. hand hand style. Okay, I'll give him the hand style. Um. Yes, I'll give him the hand style. He's definitely put some effort into his hand style. He's got a nice curve as well. Though. I mean, it looks like he did it in five minutes, to be fair. Exactly. Yeah. It sits nice on top of the radiator so Enzo doesn't get chilly. It's nice and warm. Got a little halo with the drips on there. 
The NZO, okay, cool. I can live with them. The E, though, he's gone a little bit yeah. too funky. I think theme, like you were saying, it's difficult just to do a one-liner because you can't fuck up. I think he fucked up that E several times and he kept trying to fix it and then he just ended up with Cut it back in with the black until it got <laughs> yeah. too small in the middle and he's, oh, fuck! And it's so skinny now, he's like, I can't do anything else now. You know what I mean? So he was yeah. stuck with it. It looked like bottle opener. <laughs> the E looks yes. like a bottle opener. <laughs> yeah. Yes, on a Swiss army knife, like a little one you unfold. It's exactly you know I mean? like Exactly. <laughs> All right, Enzo Who's with the halo, the up? dripping halo above. Yeah, it looks like some yeah, derelict he's... warehouse, man. It's like pigeon shit all over the floor. The actual Enzo reach isn't too bad, like Mutlad said. Yeah. The Enzo reach with the little What's that crew? arrow coming out. Is it W-H-Z? Mm. Okay. We hire Zulus. I got. Oh yeah, you were out in. Um, you were out in Sicily, right? With all the mafioso, with the familia. We don't say mafioso, but uh, why don't you say this say thing of ours? This there, thing right? of ours. Mutlag was out in Sicily, and he. I told him, look, when you're out there, send me some graph. We can look at that one afterwards. We can look at that one up, but we've already looked at that one, I think. Um, no? Okay, cool. We can look at it afterwards. But but send us something from Sicily. I've set you up for that now, so let's go with that. I told him to take pictures of any graph out there. You said you saw some polo tags out there, right? Shout out Polo. We listened to one of his tunes. What was it called? Time? A couple weeks ago? Yeah. Time, Apparently, time, time. He's got some bombing. Oh, no, what's yeah. this? Do you want to go on? Oh, what's this? Theme, a little description. Go for it. Yo, I'm trying to... Here we go. Let me turn it landscape, have a little bit of a Frank and Pat. Whoa. Yeah. This is that kind of European graph that you see out there, man. It's almost like Aztec it, style. It's not Spanish. It's, what is it, Italian? Looks it, man. Yeah. The S, is it an S, the first letter? Samey? Yeah, it kind of, yeah, it looks like S-A-E-M-I. That's what it looks like to me. What do you think? Could be a lowercase r, maybe, but nah, that, I think that's an S. Looks like Mutlag's unborn baby did it while he was still in the womb. <laughs> that's how. <laughs> that's how. The, Mutlag's youths are doing these already before they're born, mate. The, I don't <laughs> like anything about it. I don't like anything about it. I'm not trying to be like, I just don't like that style. I don't like that European flex. I don't like the A. I don't like the I with the stupid, unsmiley face. I don't like the pink mm. going around it. I don't know what the first letter is. That yeah. fucks me off. What about the like cracks is, going through the first letter? I mean, is it a crack or is it a TT? Or like, like what? There's like yeah. little whiskers or little pubes coming out the bottom of the A. Yeah. But the A, it makes me upset. A is yeah, like a, is a brilliant letter for graph, for anything, for design, for anything. That is mm -hmm. just a fucking... I mean, I, I got no words for that. The E, like, okay, you can live with the E, but... The E is standard, the, yeah. The, the letters, bro. Yeah, there's the a star. Thing, like, you remember we said, especially Mutlag like, said, when you do a star, the star needs to be good. Look, look at this star, bruv. I know it's not yeah. a tag star, but look at it. No, it's horrible, yeah. I mean, there's a, there's a, like a trend going around where people are doing these types of styles, man. And they're, and they're like purposely going overly simple, cartoony kind of style. And yeah, I'm not too into it. I think it's mainly... Because people, yeah, they just got no letter style. So they're like, yeah, I'll just do this really They've simple, had, yeah. cartoony style. And He's some had people no pull it schooling. off. But some people, not so much. But maybe this guy, you know, because I see a lot of train writers from Europe have this style as well, like really simple. Really? A lot of them, they've come up. Yeah, even some in London that are done by Euro guys, they kind of do this sort of thing because it's quick and it's fast to do. What's up? Talal, 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 talal in the house. Do you, want to give your, do you want to give your two cents on this piece of graph in Sicily? That mudlag was there. Oh, is this a mudlag? You got to get up a bit closer <clears throat> to the mic. So I don't know why you're being so mean about it. It's all right. Does it say seam or team? Well, there we go. I think it says <laughs> seam. And with an I at the end. Oh, definitely seam. doesn't say seam. S A C M I. Same S A. Same well, we don't even know what the first letter is, bro. I, I I see that it's kind of toy, but I I like that they're experimenting with uh, letter shapes. 
Yeah, but that's you not experimenting melt. because this style it has is been fucking <laughs> dog shit. Sorry, Talal can't hear you, theme. That's the thing. Um, he said it's dog shit. And, uh, uh, <laughs> and Talal, you think that that's experimentation because you haven't seen a lot of graph, but there's so many people I've seen like graph. That. I, I'll tell you what, I like the A. That's all I like. <laughs> oh my letter. God! Get <laughs> him off the fucking pod, Baba <laughs> Yeah, get out of it. It's the worst okay. letter here. He's left. He's left now. He's gone. Jeez. He's gone. Imagine if you owned that building and you were you weren't too adverse to a bit of graph, and you rock up one morning and someone's done that. You'd be like, "Fucking hell! Why do yeah. I get the biggest toys on earth doing the? Look at the shutters. You could have done some nice graph on there, man." In it, yo. And All in right, Italy, okay. you can paint wherever you want. You can paint the trains however you want. You should be better at, than that in your second week of your career. <laughs> That's very true, man. But well, Mutlak sent a few over, but but there's a. Uh, I want to do this one because this is someone who listens to the pod. So let me send it I to saw? both of you. No, no, no. no. Ignore the it. ones Mutlak sent you now. We've done Sicily now. I'm going to send that one. once. It's you know true. I mean? uh, so, Candy? Now, nah, okay. Can you read I it? it candy Bandita for a sec before, before I read it. It says Cut. Candy. It says what? Cutter? No. Cutogram? It's it's two words. Yeah, not cuttergram. Outergram. So O U T T A in like a real font style, like a computer letter style, and then gram like with a bubbly kind of style so going through. So clever. The... Yeah. So clever. He actually I mean, said that. Talk about a play on words. It's not Instagram. <laughs> it's outer. Oh my god. <laughs> Autogram, <laughs> you're so clever. Yeah. He actually sent this saying, Oh, you've been reviewing Banksy's. He goes, So I want to see what you think about this, like more arty graffiti. He said, I thought, All right. Jesus In my head, I'm thinking, Christ, I'm going to say what this. he said. Arty <laughs> yeah. graph. That, but, yeah. bruv, this isn't any any type of graph. This, yeah. is, this isn't graph. This is uh, like a like a font you can get on your. Word document exactly with then the gram written on it, but the 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 last bit of the M kind of looks like the Willy of Earth OM Jim or something. It's kind of a bit, <laughs> but yeah, I can see the fade on the gram. I can see. I mean, but what I don't get yet is why you would rock up and do that. Why you would paint the black surround, then paint all of that wall yellow, and then just and then just do that. I mean, I, yeah, I don't get it. I mean, fair enough if it was a commission for something, but this obviously wasn't. He, and he obviously, who am I to say what gives you joy? Go ahead, do it. What, yeah, whatever pleases you, go do whatever you want. Personally, and I think I can speak for theme and maybe Mutlag as well, you can say otherwise, that just looks like a ball lake to do, man, with all these straight long yeah. lines and you've got to cut back all the things to make sure it's all perfect. It's all about making it as neat and perfect. I'm like, if I wanted it to be neat and perfect, just print it out on a piece of paper and stick it on the wall. You know what I mean? Save yourself a mm. lot of hassle. If you're painting something, and I've seen Outer, he does normal pieces. He does normal graph as well. So maybe every now and again now he'll do the, something now like this. Now this is experimenting then. Yeah, he's like, experimenting. So, experimenting. So I'm, I'm not going to tar him completely with that brush. Obviously, salute Outer, all love. And it's good to experiment like that because all you're going to do is get yourself better doing other letters, yeah. other this, other that. You know what I mean? And That's also, why Chick you, never writes Chick. Yeah. But but no, chick See, is completely I need to do, different. I need to do all letters, so I do different word every time. Yeah, but he's pure illegal style. I, I assume yeah, out yeah, yeah. again speculation. People who paint stuff like this, it's more practice for when you're doing like commission work stuff. You know, what I mean, if you want to get paid to do, obviously you do it for fun and you do it for whatever other reasons. But then if you want to make a bit of money out of it, fine. But you need to refine your skills. And and these are the type of things that you're going to get paid to do. You know what I mean? Or, or at least will look good on your, on your um, um, what's it called? Profile. What, what do you call it? It's like a, it's like a small packet of Rizzler mixed with a bit of Candy Bandita mixed yeah. with a bit of Word document. I'll tell you who Can does I that. I apologize to Chick for like even associating him. <laughs> yeah, with, you can't. That. He, he'll probably kill me. I tell you who else does that? Who who actually has a good mix between the two is Sky High. You must yeah, but he can obviously do everything. Exactly, he'll do a piece Sky High where one of the letters will be an ill graph letter, then the K will be a perfect font letter, like almost 
too crisp, like it was printed on the wall. Then the Y will be like a scribble, like it was done on a pencil. And then the, the you know what I mean? Like he, he mashes all those styles together pretty well, I reckon. Um, but, you know, he's been doing it a long time. Uh, uh, props to him. Sky High is a different level. Different yeah, level. Sky High is dope. Uh, Mutlag, were you trying to get my attention? You all good? Shall we do that last one? That uh, I don't know if he sent it to you as well, the one on Gurnell. Did you get that one from Mutlag? Can you yeah. send it to me? Oh, you yeah, did? Yeah, I got it. All right, shall we have a little chat about that and then we can call it a night, man? Because I know, like you were saying, man, you've had a yeah, long I day. Go. I've got to get back yeah. on my bicicleta again. Bicicleta. Oh, is it? you got to go back to get your car thing. Oh, that is annoying. Or to get the cat. Are you the fucking cat? Ah, yeah. oh, Jesus. Know. All right, Jeez, I don't even want to know. Stupid. There's Sloth and Spo. Yo, Boffer salute. got dogged out. Boffer got dogged out by Boffreaches. Is it? Did he dog himself out? Okay, let me just explain it to the people listening. All right, it's si- the Gurnell Swimming Pool is a swimming pool down here near Greenford, Elin. It's derelict now. It has been derelict for a little while now, so everyone's painted all over it. We were going to do an episode there, but then there were kids around us all smoking weed, and they wouldn't stop making noise, so we couldn't do it there. Anyway... We have tags by Mine, AS, Dunya, Norman, fucking all that. And then we've got a sloth hollowed out bit on the left. We've got a spo with a pink fill, black black outline or dark green? Black outline. Then we got that frog. I've recognized that frog, but what does it say? Pay? P-A-Y. What is that froey next to the spo on the right-hand side? Is that P-A-Y theme? I like the Y. That's Y is kind of funky. Hey, yeah. Pay, yeah. And then there's a snooze, S N O O Z. I've been wondering who snooze in. He he gets some cool spots, but I don't know how much I feel his style. I mean, he's been getting about, he's been putting in work and props to him, but I don't know if I'm too feeling the styles, man. But underneath the snooze is a boffer, B O F A, obviously done by some toy, maybe. And he's dogged himself out. He obviously wasn't happy with it. Big up mine on the some I don't know what he's used must be etch but the bottom of the inside of the central line doors when they close like that they have that metal strip the, the metal bottom, strip and he's yeah. battered enough of them stained in like a rusty kind of it looks sick that is a Big slick mine. he's got a lot he's done a lot of street bombing mine to be fair yeah no doubt salute yeah. all the AS crew Big up Avia out in Australia Big up the Andy Shaw crew you know what I'm <laughs> yeah, AS crew is it just like they just it, they all have a shrine you know they mean? all have a shrine of yeah. Andy Shaw in there do you know what I mean I begged them not to do it but they said that we're going to do it do you know what I mean I said, yeah, okay. okay end of the day if I can't stop you doing it do you know what I mean exactly I mean obviously look Sloth and Spo killing it Pay yeah. I like the outline snooze like I'm saying I mean you know he's Oh, he's, he's got another nice dub on there, hasn't he, up the stairs, which is he's nice. Got a couple I think we bits. might have shown that. Yeah. Talal interrupted. Can I just say point. something? What, if you hurry up? I've learned a new skill. Wicked! <sighs> wicked! <laughs> wicked! <laughs> Jungle is my city! <laughs> wicked! <laughs> wicked! Who's <laughs> speaking the thing? Get out, close the door. <laughs> Fucking hell. All right, guys. Get oh, out, no, no. No. Oh, oh, no, no. Oh, no. Big up Talal. Big up Mortlag. Big up Spo, big up Sloth, big up mine, big up Salute. Altogram, yes. big up everyone in Italy, your fucking toys. Apart from that yes. geezer, was it Rusto or something? He is sick. Who's that guy I'm thinking of? Just bird train. But anyway, arms house to your mum's house. Yo, we want, I want to enjoy go- both episodes. No doubt. Please That's leave a comment patience. below. Let us know your thoughts. If you want, if you you know, if you've got any location ideas, if you want to send in your graph, if you want to leave us a voice note question, all the links are below. The email, the Instagram, all that good stuff. We've also got a Patreon if you want to support the show and show some love. That is show much some love. Show me some love, motherfucker. Big show up, me some love. Big up all the patrons involved already. Much love. Salute to you guys. I want to big go out on night. this tune by Evidence. It's called The Far Left, featuring Alchemist and Fashorn. I haven't heard from Fashorn in a while, man. Uh, but this beat theme, this beat is dope. Check it out. Peace, people. 92 in the bag. <laughs> Hey. Eh.
the maestro that's composing these tones Jam, got fiends tapping they arm for that dope Slam, on the low like the witness protection Program, clicks the gorillas with killers, let them ride out Park the tank, open the latch and then I climb out To the atmosphere so I can really find out I'm scheming when I walk around with the shine out I see them pay no attention, I make bars, moves Pay kings no attention cause the cash moves King pen, I'm in on anything that moves It's the anchor man, I deliver the bad moves at least a couple thousand in my pocket, no, no less Can't even stop to take a breather cause it's no, no rest Where I'm at, my position's what I know best From California, but I represent the whole West uh, They like, God, God damn Who gives a fuck about them blocks? You ran, how you walk around with choppers like it's I, I ran You grew up in the burbs, you are not the man I was in the kitchen, pots, pans See, I'm about action, you plot, plan Pull up to the spot, I stop, they scram Got them out in Philly like Ox, not playing High definition like Com, Cash Left Coast District, on uh, Smash I'm the next edition, just do the math The only missing link to the movement was fast You can tell by the bass, that's ALC Ask EV, I'm on my J-O-B so it's never a drought, fiends don't sweat east side, but I represent the whole, whole F, product of them grizzly city pro, pro jet. I get a good sleep when my soul at rest, see, A, but I represent the whole, whole west, west, coast to the death, fuck you respect, it's the F. Do you think I need to go and paint that yellow BR, bro?